Hey guys, the objectives for this video is to look at a normally consolidated soil and we're going to be doing an example where we find the final void ratio. Okay, so back to our diagram we had in the first video. Um, so in the previous video we looked at what happened along this line. Now we're going to be looking what happens when we are along this line here. Okay, so not up here on the normally consolidated line but up down here, right? So in other words, we're now experiencing stresses which are greater than our pre-consolidated stress. Okay, so we're at a time, our time is now at a time where we are, our stresses are greater than the pre-consolidated stress. So, for example, we could be given, say, uh, sigma initial equals 40, sigma final equals, um, say, 100, and sigma pre-consolidated equals 20. Okay, so if I were to graph this, just like we did in the previous video, So I would dash down all my points. So here's sigma initial. Sorry, here's sigma pre-consolidated at 20. Here's sigma initial at 40. And here's sigma final at 100. Okay, so as you can see, we are along, we are along this point of the graph where the pre-consolidated stress is smaller compared to the initial and final stress we're experiencing. Okay. This is different to the example we did in the previous video. In the previous video, we saw that the pre-consolidated stress was the maximum. Now the pre-consolidated stress is the minimum, okay? So what that means is that we are along the normally consolidated line, okay? We're along this line here. So our soil, this is normally consolidated. Once again, in a question, they could do one of two things for you to deduce that you're normally consolidated. They could give you this information and you would have to draw it and see that you're normally consolidated. Or they could just say, in a normally consolidated soil sample. And the reason we need to know that is we need to know to use CC, the compression index. Okay. In the previous video, we used CR. But because our soil is normally consolidated, we need to use CC. Okay. And to find the final voids ratio, it's the exact same process. So let's just make up an example. CC equals